Emergency teams put their skills to the test to see how they would handle a plane crash. It was an elaborate simulation today out at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. As KXAN's Ignacio Garcia found out today, it's all part of an FAA required exercise to help agencies prepare to face a disaster. It's a chaotic scene. Firefighters and EMS workers rushing to save people after a horrific crash on a runway. Very dramatic, but in this case, not real. The fuselage of the jet broke open. We do have some fatalities uh, simulated in this. We have some luggage scattered. We have body parts scattered around the place from mannequin body parts. The reenactment involves several agencies from both the local and state levels and tested how well they work together. What you're getting to see is some of the same responders who might go to an emergency somewhere else getting to practice those same skills as well as the same emergency management. 150 volunteers played the role of the victims. Some traumatized, some deceased. The drill also included a response team from the Red Cross whose volunteers trained in dealing with tragedy. How to help passengers, how to help the families that are flying in, how to help deal with the shock and the trauma that is this plane crash. This real life scenario is only required by the FAA every three years. But those who took part say the lessons learned will last forever. Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. The emergency volunteers today are evaluated on several criteria, including communication between agencies, incident command, and mutual aid response. A deadly runway crash last year is a reminder why airport disaster drills are so important. An Asiana Airlines jet crash landed last year at San Francisco International Airport. Three passengers were killed, including a teenage girl who was run over by a fire truck involved in the rescue. This week, the airline blamed pilot error and a faulty warning system for that crash.